Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to look at how you can install WordPress using our one-click installer. So to start I'm going to log into my Farsos account and I'm going to go through the main Farsos.co.uk website just in case you've not done it before. So you can click login in the top right there and you want to log into your control panel. And then just use your username and password that you usually use. When you're logged into your control panel, you need to browse to the hosting package you want to install WordPress on, so click Website Hosting. And this will bring up a list of all your hosting packages in your account. I'm going to click Install on FastHostWebinars.com, so I just click the domain name there. And from here, the first thing we need to check is that we're in on the Linux operating system, uh, which you can see there. If you're using Windows on that, then you're not going to have access to the one-click installer. So if you want to use a one-click installer, you'll need to switch over to Linux. And you can do that using that link there. To access the one-click installer, browse down to it and click Configure Applications on the tile. And as you can see, we're opening in a new tab here. So from this list of apps, you want to click on WordPress, which is about halfway down the page, just here. And from this screen, click Install this application. Now we're going to set all the options that we want to use. So the first thing to do is select where you want to install it. If you leave this blank, it will just become your main website, but you can install it in a subdirectory if you wanted to. So if you wanted to install it in a subdirectory called blog, for example, you could do that. But we want to install it as our main website, so we'll just leave that blank. The version you should leave as recommended unless you have a specific need to use a different version. And the language, you've got quite a lot of choices, but we're just going to use English in this example. Now you have to accept the EULA, which is a bit of a mouthful, and um, you have to you can click on there to read it, and you have to accept it, otherwise you won't be able to install WordPress. Now we get into the settings, so administrator and you, administrator username and password are going to be what you use to log into your WordPress backend. I'm going to change these uh, just because I'm not going to remember these, and I'm only using it temporarily. And password by default, there'll be a nice strong one generated for you, which you can use. Um, but I'm going to use my own again because I'm never going to remember that. Now you'll see as I type that, the strength indicator was changing and that was strong. So you should always make sure you've got a strong password. Administrator email is just the email address that's going to receive all the notifications from WordPress and website title and tagline can be changed later on so don't worry too much about them now but you can change them now if you want. You've got now two-factor authentication now what that is is when you log into WordPress using the credentials supplied above there then you'll get a notification to the app on your device and you have to approve the login so it just means if someone has got your username and password they still can't log in until you approve it so it's great for protecting yourself gives you an extra layer of security. You can also limit login attempts um, and what that does is basically by default it will give you three opportunities to log in. If you get your username and password wrong three times you'll be locked out and it's a really good thing to have again because what people will do is a very common attack to go to your login screen and just run a script that uses a load of username and password combinations and they can get through thousands in a minute so it's it's very archaic way of trying to hack but it's still quite common so it's a good idea to limit login attempts. Enable multi-site shouldn't do that unless you know exactly what you're doing um, and if you don't know what it is leave it and finally we've got advanced and basically you've got two options automatically manage advanced settings for me which I would highly recommend or you can let me manage these settings if you have a database that you wanted to use um, then you can set the details here so you can provide all the host name, uh, username, password, etc. Uh, but if you haven't already created a database, it's best just to let us do it for you. And the last one of those is email notifications, and you can choose which notifications are sent. So if you don't want all of these types of notifications, you can choose which ones you want to exclude. But again, I'd recommend just automatically managing the settings for me. Now I'm going to click Install Now, and it's going to take a couple of minutes. I'm just going to pause the video while that installs. Okay, that's successfully installed now, and this is the screen you're going to see directly after installation. So here you can see your URL, 
where you can log into your WordPress admin area and where you can get some more help with WordPress support. You can also check some of your details and what is really useful about this little area is that you can change your WordPress username and password so if you ever forget them you can come back here and change them here. It's also got things like your administrator email and a few other settings you set during installation that you can change to. If you ever need to come back to this screen, if we just close that down, from your package overview for your domain, scroll down to the one click installer and when it loads it should by default load into that uh, that screen. Yeah, there we go. So we can just click it there. If it's not, basically you've got two tabs at the top here. If you land on Applications Browser, you can just go to the My Applications tab and it will be there. So now let's have a look and see if it's installed correctly. So we'll go to the URL there. So there we go. We can see that uh, that has successfully installed and let's go to the WordPress admin area. There we go, and as we can see, we've got three attempts remaining because we set the uh, the number of logins to be limited. So the username and password we set, and with any luck, we'll log in now. There we go, we're logged in. And this is the first time login, so what you can see here is that it's prompting you to uh, set up with Clef, which is the two-factor authentication. Until you actually set it up, it won't be active, so it's a good idea to sort of get that done early on. And you're done now, you're ready to start building your website. And that's the end of the video today. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see any more, we are constantly updating our YouTube channel, so check back regularly. Thanks very much for watching.